Good evening. It is Thursday night and I just got a few things in the mail which I'm pretty excited about. Um, at the beginning of this week, I, or maybe actually Sunday or whatever it was, I ordered a bunch of parts for the car. It's been too long, um, just sitting around and I'm plodding along at it bit by bit and I had to just pull my thumb out and just hit it. I just purchased as much as I needed. I went through eBay and I just scrolled and scrolled and scrolled. Anything I needed that I didn't have, I purchased it. Um, I spent a bit of money, but I need this. I want this car finished soon. Um, it's been a great project. I want it finished because um, I'm so close. The only things that I need are the items that literally I need to purchase and install. All of the bodywork, the repair work, the paint work, um, any fabrication, the interior pieces, pretty much everything is done that I can do to the car um, in my garage. Um, everything that's left are the pieces that need to be actually purchased and installed. So things like new suspension, um, obviously the uh, sound deadening I did last week. Um, just pieces and bits that, that I don't have, like rear view mirrors, um, the windscreen wipers, um, the little tiny bonnet stays that go in here, and the cushions, <coughs> sorry, um, and the hinges for the bonnet. I was going to use um, the hinges that I already that I already have here, um, and I've got a few, I got a few, damn it, I got a few here, but you know, you look at the quality of the ones that, um, I forgot the gentleman's name, I think it's Nate, um, he makes, and he sells them on eBay, and they're just, they're just awesome, they look strong, they're, they, they're a nice piece, so I've ordered those, um, they should get here sometime uh, next week, and then I can put the bonnet on. Now, I've already done a video of repairing the bonnet once, um, I have to do it again, uh, which sucks, not only someone put a dent right in the middle of the bonnet so that needs to be sanded um, ideally knocked out um, and resprayed also I put the clear coat over the top and the black paint I used for the GT stripes bubbled up so that kind of sucked so that has to be redone and yeah a few other things um, I've got the fuel door fuel cap door piece um, I put a little post up I think I put a post up, I actually can't remember, I think I might have just commented on somebody's um, post um, that I needed one of these and Aaron from, uh, he's a member on Australian First Gen Salikas, hit me up. So I finally have a fuel door, very very happy, um, I'm going to have to just sand this up, um, give it a quick prime and coat of paint and that sucker's going to live in there. Um, it's nice and straight. There's one little ding in it, but I'm not too fussed about that. I'll knock it out, get it flat again. Um, got a nice big bunch of silver tape, and that is for ow, this, which is my 6mm thick aluminium top foam um, sticky base heat protection that is going to go on top of the sound deadening all through the bottom of the car. Um, that's going to add just that extra layer of comfort and quietness before the carpet actually goes on top. Um, which by the way, the carpet has been ordered as well. So, uh, oh yeah, new brake shoes, uh, brake pads and the brake shoes for the rear. Um, may as well put new ones on because I want it to pass roadworthy. Be great. Oh, I got some suspension for the rear as well. Um, these were $99 for a pair. Um, the ones that I have at the back now are horrible and they are just horrible. So $99. It's just the strut. It's all I need. Um, I'll do a quick video of installing them. Sound deadening's already in, but I do have some left over, so I'll use it up before I put this stuff in. And I've got a bunch more stuff, like I said, on the way. So for now, um, I'm going to go to bed. I've had a big week. I'm not going to do anything to it tonight. But again, in just a short moment, I'll see you and we'll start probably with that. So I got bored 
it's still night time. I'm going to start putting some of this heat stuff in because I'm just too excited. So what I'll need, something to cut with, something to measure with, the product itself and a little bit of luck. Um, this is all relatively clean still, seeing as uh, I haven't done anything else in here since laying it. Um, I might just give it a quick wipe down with the rag to make sure that um, the sticky stuff adheres as well to the top. But um, I'm just going to again move the ECU out of the way. Just clean up some of the wiring that's underneath there, just so I have access to put this um, heat stuff right up, high up on that firewall, deep down in there. So um, it'll help keep some of the heat out of the uh, cockpit for me from the engine bay. So let's uh, pretty much, I think it's self-explanatory. I mean, you measure the best you can in the area you're going to put it. Uh, you cut it the best you can, you lay it down, you might need to edit a few things, that's fine, and then you peel off the protective film and you stick it on. Um, any uh, messy bits or joins that I uh, have left over, I do. I did buy that, um, that tape over there, it's aluminium uh, duct tape, and that'll, that'll join the seals for me, just to make it kind of look neat. So, I'm going to put you guys down um, and get to playing with the, whatever it's called, I don't know, what is it, heat protection, matting stuff, whatever, but anyways, it's going to go in now. And there you have it. First little panel um, put on. I just cut some reliefs for these brackets, these mounting points. They kind of extrude from the firewall. Um, because I still have to put my aftermarket heater unit in here somewhere, I thought I'd keep these exposed because I'll probably use them as points to make brackets for that actual heater. Apart from that, I um, cut a little hole for the grommet to push through with the wiring for the ECU. Um, that's stuck up against the back wall then. Right there. So now I'm just going to try and do the other side, um, somehow go around, um, you know, all the pedals and whatnot. We'll see how we go with this bit. But um, just while I got you, this stuff, um, so it's approximately 4.5 meters long by one meter, um, which should be enough for me to do all of my important bits that I need done. Um, it was 66 dollars. Um, again, it's not a branded name, it's just, again, something on eBay, but it, I think it'll do the job. Now, don't worry, I do understand that I did say a heat um, removal or whatever this stuff. I, I, I'm just calling it like heat padding or whatever, but I understand that to actually do the job of heat removal, you've got to have the hot surface facing the aluminium, ideally. That way it reflects it back. So if I would actually put it on this side of the firewall, it would make more sense to repel the heat from the engine. Um, but regardless, it is going underneath here, um, mainly for a little bit more noise dampening um, and just that kind of more quality, softer feel underneath the carpet. So I'm not just putting my feet directly on hard metal. Um, so back at it, I will continue. Now there's a, um, hopefully this is not in the way. There. Now there's a slight gap in between these two pieces. Um, this aluminium tape is gonna help out with that. So as soon as I <laughs> find the right end, I'm going to um, close up that gap so it looks kind of neat. Nice. 
I also got a, I think it was a 45 meter roll of this silver duct tape for 20 bucks off eBay as well. So again, a good little pickup. Bingo. It's taken up that gut really well. It's really sticky. So it sticks to the top of that aluminium quite nicely. Well, I'm just gonna keep plotting away and get the rest of this done. It's the same process, rough measure, cut, edit, lay in place, make sure it's right, peel it off, stick it down, tape it up. Alrighty, I thought I'd um, just pause it here and just give you a example of the progress. So as you can see, the left hand passenger footwell is done, ready for carpet. The stuff is going in really good, again for the price, just like the um, sound deadener. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's easy to work with even with like the aluminium foil top it's molding in really well to all of the little tiny bumps and molds throughout the chassis floor uh, this tape is absolutely awesome it's ridiculously sticky when you take it off the roll when you peel back this protective layer if you take the whole layer off the piece that you've cut it'll want to curl up on you and it'll stick and it's really annoying so leave a little bit of this on at the end just before you peel the protective layer all the way off the piece lay it down then pop the end off it makes life a lot easier and it stops it from um, pigtailing up on you but like for example that there is an aluminium um, tape line to hide that seal and so that is literally completely sealed and all stuck down i am going to continue on with the rest of it and um i'll see you when I'm finished because uh, I'm sure you get the gist of it. Yeah. So that's the um, front and rear passenger footwells done, including the tunnels. The stuff's gone on really well again, so no issues. Again, molding really well to the floor pan. Um, the tape's nice and strong. You can't even see that there's like seals. You can see that one because it just overlaid a little bit, but not to worry. Um, very simple process, um, cut out a little groove in this panel so it would slide underneath the um, holder for the seat. Um, that one there is simply just cut a little square out. There's two seat belt buckle holes that need to be remembered or good luck finding them once it's over the top. That's really all that needs to be cut out. Um, a little tiny slot in it here so it can slide through the, um, 
the handbrake lever and then I just taped up the cut again. Same principle with the um, gearbox. But she's gone on really well. I'm, I'm super happy with that. Um, I'm pretty certain it's going to make a big difference with the sound. Um, you know, any vibrations or road noise, um, heat, all that kind of stuff coming through the floor pan for me. Um, and I've still got plenty left, so more than enough to do the boot. Um, again, in the back here, probably not going to worry about it. Apart from, I'll probably do this back metal piece here behind the seats, but this has got that foam stuck down already. Again, really, really well stuck down on that, on those pieces, so they're just going to stay there. Um, then again, I might change my mind tomorrow and do it. We'll see. Next step is clean up the mess I made. Go to bed, wake up, and probably do the rear shocks. Um, probably do the um, all sound ending in the rear here with this stuff. Um, and fingers crossed my carpet arrives soon because as soon as the carpet's here, it's going in. And um, it's amazing the difference putting carpet in a project car makes to the feel of accomplishment and um, progress you've made on it. As soon as that carpet's in, it just looks beautiful. It doesn't look like a metally messy building mess anymore. Um, but any hooties, I'll see you in a bit tomorrow.